My friend Bob noticed the amount of KYC that banks and brokers do these days. They say it's to prevent tax evasion and money laundering. And there are two concepts that often are mentioned together. So Bob started to think that they were the same thing. The media also confuses those terms all the time. Luckily for Bob, he has a lawyer friend, and I'll talk about it in this video. Welcome to Not Financial Advice. My name is Tobias. I'm an attorney and international finance expert. And today we'll discuss tax evasion and money laundering. But you know, one of my oldest dreams is to build an amazing community of investors wanting to learn and be better at it. If you want to be a part of it, please consider supporting the channel and Patreon. And if you like my videos and want to buy me a coffee, that would be amazing too. Thank you. Links down below. So. Is it the same thing? No. In fact, there are kind of opposites, like two sides of the same coin, both illegal of course, but very different. Let's start with tax evasion. Taxes are usually created by the legislative branch, so whatever these guys vote that you owe your country, well, you owe. Many people in the libertarian movement consider this to be theft because there is no real consent. The government unilaterally decides what you owe them and pretty much force you to pay with a gun to your head. But if taxes are theft or not is not the subject of this video, so let's move on. So the government says you owe them half of what you make. If you don't pay, is that tax evasion? Mm, not quite. If you don't pay, they consider you to be in debt with them, and they will start adding interest on that debt. If you don't pay at all, they will go for your assets, or maybe they can put you on a payment plan or so. But tax evasion is another thing. Tax evasion, at least in most countries, consists in reporting less money than the one you made. Deceiving the government in terms of deductions, hiding money, not reporting cash or non-traceable payments, etc. To put it simple, you pay the whole amount of taxes that you say you owe, but in reality you are not making an honest report. And what is money laundering then? And how is this the other side of the coin? Well, money laundry is about taxes, uh, but not about evading taxes. In fact, the money launderer is a very good taxpayer. He pays a lot of taxes because it's kind of the point of money laundering. Let me explain. This guy is Steve. He is not a friend of mine. He is a professional thief. He commits crimes for a living and last year he stole one million dollars. Then he had to file taxes, but he can't report crime-related earnings. He stole that money. And if he doesn't report it, then he can't spend it, move it, deposit that money in banks, etc. without the risk of being caught. He wants to live like a guy who made a million dollars. So, what do you think he'll do? Well, he needs to get that black money cleaned. And that's why he needs to launder that money. And the term actually originated back in the mafia days when the guys like Al Capone used actual laundromats to do this. So how does it work? There are many ways, but the concept is this. Steve needs some kind of business as a front. For example, this hot dog cart. In reality, last year he sold 500 hot dogs, but he will report 500,000 sold. He will happily pay taxes for that, and he'll get his money clean and ready to spend. Money laundering is the process in which dirty money is disguised as honest money. As you can see, tax evasion and money laundering are two very different crimes. Now you know the difference. Did you know this already? Can you think of some more examples? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching and you know the drill. 
like, subscribe, notification bell, share and comment. And of course, remember that this is not legal advice and not financial advice either. This channel is only for education and entertainment. Although I am an attorney, my city, county, state, province and country may be different than yours. If you are looking for advice, you should always hire a local licensed professional.